Hi guys, so let's do our daily energy card and energy clearing. <laughs> I know there's a lot of intent and energies going on right now because the full moon and the lunar eclipse is coming up soon on the 21st. So yeah, intense energies. So let's see what we can do. Call upon God, angels. And all of our guys and the highest, highest beings of infinite love and infinite light. Oh, cards are like going crazy, the energy. <clears throat> okay, so this is a card. Is this card? Yes. It says, Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. So yeah, this is super important and actually I was going to talk about this so it works out. Um, especially during like, whenever there's intense energetic energy times such as now, it's really important to have extra protection, especially as you already being naturally sensitive as a light worker or a twin flame, it's really important because Right now we're 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 clearing off layers and layers of stuff, right? Deep layers from us and the whole collective. So a lot of energy is being brought up to the surface. Um, it can bring up a lot of dark stuff. So you just want to make sure while you're feeling extra sensitive to make sure to have extra protection. So like for me, I'm wearing my black tourmaline pendant, and I haven't worn it in a long time because I just didn't really feel like I need need it because it's really um really protective energy and it's very heavy so i don't like to usually wear it but lately <laughs> as the energy is really intense lots of entities are coming up too from because they're in the they're in the layers of stuff that's being brought up so what i'm seeing is they're kind of like latching on to people so you want to be careful i'm not saying to be afraid of them because they can be easily cleared off it's just it's just it's just a hassle so it's better to protect yourself while you're going through these times also when we are transforming right we're, we're the eclipse help us to transform um we can feel really sensitive during these times so it makes you even more vulnerable to things you kind of think of it as like like an animal like a snake shedding its skin it's like they're extra sensitive the skin is extra sensitive sensitive at that time or like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly that's why they go into the chrysalis the cocoon is actually a chrysalis but because <laughs> they're, they're sensitive during that time so they need that time to transform so when we are going through a transforming transforming time yet we're still going out in the world and there's people and all sorts of energies and being very sensitive we can pick it up so just be careful I'm not saying to live in fear and hide <laughs> unless you feel like you need to you know some time for yourself that's totally fine but just <laughs> don't live in fear that's not what I'm saying so let's just do some healing I'm just tuning in and see what's going on Okay, <laughs> the first thing that's coming up is extra, extra protection. So let's call on the angels and your guides and then God and the universe. Like, no, this stuff is so much energy is clearing up. Um, let's call upon all of the powerful angels and archangels to help surround you, protect you, keep you safe. I feel some things blocking you from allowing this uh, protection. So let's see why you're blocking it. Are you blocking it? Yes. So parts of you believe like believe that you don't deserve extra help and support from the universe. So let's clear that. So parts of you that are uh, it's like feels like unworthiness. So let's clear that. Release that to that light. And also the card says fear is an illusion. So that's why. It's important to know that nothing, nothing can do anything to you unless you are allowing it. So that's the next part. Let's revoke permission. So if you have any like sort of contracts or vows or things like that, promises or whatever you made with any anything or anyone to 
latch onto your energy, mess with your energy, anything like that, or any entities, anything like that. Let's clear that. Clear the contracts and vows and promises. Okay, they're not clearing. <laughs> it's a being a really stubborn today, but that's fine because it's just lots coming up. So again, parts of you don't want to let go of some contracts. Let's see why. It has to do with fear. It's kind of like if you let go of these contracts, then there'll be no, like, no reasons or excuses as to why you can't move forward in your life in a powerful way. So parts of you are like, nah, I'd rather hold on to these contracts so that these dark energies or like people and things like that, they can keep clogging me up, <laughs> latching into my energies and draining me, and then. I can't move forward, so oh well. <laughs> so let's clear those parts of you that would rather allow this to happen than to be free to move forward. So let's clear that. Okay, that's clearing. That's good. Now we can clear the contracts. Yes. There's still parts of you blocking, though, from clearing. Clear, have the contracts. So all the contracts still weren't completely clear, so let's see why. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, don't you want to clear the contracts? Are you blocking? No, somebody else is blocking. Oh, you're a twin flame. <laughs> you're a lovely twin flame. So let's clear this from your twin flame. Your twin flame is open to releasing the contracts. Because also, if your twin flame has like contracts and agreements to allow entities or any types of dark energies or whatever you want to call it, to attack them or to mess with them, then it can mess with you, of course, because you're connected. <laughs> okay, so let's clear that from your twin. Twins open, yes, okay. Your twin flame allowing this, yes. Okay. I still don't feel like they've been completely cleared, though. Yeah, they're not. There's still some more contracts. <laughs> okay. Let's see where they're coming from. It has to do with your family, your ancestors, both sides, and your twin. So let's clear the contracts and agreements that your ancestors made on both sides, your mom and your dad, your mother and father, and your twin flames, both sides. Oh yeah, now it feels good. It's clearing out. <laughs> Any contracts they made with the dark side, the entities, whatever that's not of love, they were let, letting it go now, dissolving it into the light, allowing light to flow through, clearing any cords and attachments as well. Oh, it's a lot. Okay. So now I have all the contracts and agreements and cords and, cords and attachments that can be cleared at this time. Have they been cleared? Yes. Okay. And I'm getting to um, that it would be good to play this video a few times so we can go deeper in the layers if you feel like you need more. So I'll clear all of that. And let's see. Oh yes, so calling in your angels and guides, allowing them to step forward more fully, allowing you to come more fully into your power, upgrading your power and your energy field so you feel safe. Allow yourself to feel safe and protected, yes. And I forgot to mention, if you're open to receiving this healing, type in the comments below you're open to receiving. For you, your twin flame, your family, your ancestors, the entire collective. I'm starting to feel a lot better. And allow you to create healthy, healthy, healthy boundaries, energetic boundaries. And only allow love and only of the highest good to come through for you. Okay, anything else you have to do? No, okay. So, 
<laughs> check in to see how you're feeling. I know a lot of stuff's coming up. I know it's a lot. It's, it is a lot and it's bringing a lot of things up to the surface. So if you're starting to feel really overwhelmed, just like with the whole, during the whole eclipse season, right? Because there's, there's three. Um, it, it really helps to transform things. But in order to transform, sometimes we have to bring up the really deep layers and this is what this these eclipse seasons helping us to do really bringing up the dark dark <laughs> the dark stuff which is great because we have to clear this stuff out in order for us to rise up right rise up within ourselves and the whole collective the whole world can rise up as well but yeah a lot of stuff is coming up so if you're feeling overwhelmed Know that there's help available. If you need more help, you can always get a session with me. All the information is below. And yeah, just check in, see how you're feeling, and sending you lots of love.